Recently, some sources may have recommended to reduce our red meat consumption, but a new report in the British Nutrition Foundation Nutrition Bulletin has found that most of us are eating moderate amounts of lean red meat, which has no negative health effects. In fact, it suggests that there are many myths surrounding red meat and health. So what are they? Intakes of red meat in the UK have actually fallen over the last couple of decades and people are now eating on average about 76 grams a day, that's three ounces of red meat, which is well within healthy limits. Um, red meat brings a lot of advantages to your diet, for example it's rich in iron and zinc, contains selenium and B vitamins, so if you enjoy red meat it's important to know that you don't have to reduce intakes and can enjoy it as part of a healthy balanced diet. The evidence linking red meat with cancer is pretty woolly and inconclusive. Uh, vegetarians have got similar rates of bowel cancer uh, as do meat eaters. So at the intakes that we currently enjoy in the UK, which are moderate intakes, uh, we don't have to worry about a link with cancer and we can continue to enjoy red meat four or five times a week. There have been links between uh, meat consumption and diabetes, but it seems to be in people who are already overweight. So we don't know whether it's the meat, the way that the meat's cooked. We don't know whether it's other things that are going on in the diets of these people or because they're in fact they're overweight. Meat is much lower in saturated fat than it was 10 or 20 years ago and now offers a healthier choice. So there isn't any reason for people to worry about any links with diabetes. Links between meat intake and cardiovascular disease in the past were largely due to the fact that there was a lot of saturated fat in those foods. But as I mentioned before, because farming practices have changed, the fat content and saturated fat content of red meat has plummeted. And uh, what we're looking at now is a healthier choice with red meat. But interestingly enough, there are nutrients in red meat, such as selenium and the polyunsaturated fats, that could be good for heart health. So again, for a heart health diet, there is a role for red meat. There have been worries in the past that high meat intakes could cause people to become fat or overweight, but we don't know whether that's because of the meat or because uh, quite a lot of meat products contain pastry and high fat intakes, and so it's difficult to know what exactly is causing that. But interestingly enough, there are now some studies showing that high protein foods, for example meat, can be useful for a weight management diet because the protein makes us feel fuller for longer. So now those myths have been busted, maybe it's time to head down to the butchers. Red meat is well and truly on the menu.